I've been waiting for you. Hello everyone, it's BYG Agami back with another video. Now we got Yu-Gi-Oh! Varane's news from an official website. Of course, Yoga Organization translated this information. I'll link it down below to the article where you can see the translations. But Fujiki Yusaku, a shonen who hates standing out. And note, that's a very important sentence for Yusaku's character. It really does describe him. He's a person that doesn't like to stand out. Doesn't. He doesn't like to stand out. So that doesn't mean he's like a weak, timid boy or something like that. It's just, it's probably like a personal preference where he doesn't like to stand out and meets many different people through duels now what does that mean does that mean that he's duels like he's like a pro duelist he starts off or is he already a mature duelist in the sense of he knows how to play the game and this is what I think personally I think that Yusaku at the beginning of dueling like the first episode he's gonna try to learn how to duel he's gonna sort of fall in the pattern throughout school or throughout whatever how to duel and then over time he starts meeting his people when you look at Yu-Gi-Oh duel monsters they didn't meet each other through dueling at least the main group like Trishner or Honda uh, Junochi or Joey Anzu or Teya they were all at school they met through of course that wish that Yugi made uh, with the Millennium Puzzle called friendship well over time Honda became Yugi's friend he still didn't like him but it was Junochi at the end of the chapter as well as Teya that liked Yugi well Teya and Yugi were always friends so they were already friends but Junochi became Yugi's friend and then we had of course a Tim or Dark Yugi as well as for Yu-Gi-Oh GX it was more of I would say that of course the campus helped out but Jaden also met his friends throughout dueling but they're at a school like of course you're gonna meet friends regardless they're on an island 24 7 so I would imagine the school played more of a vital role as well as their dorms as for 5ds I think the group already knew each other like in the flashbacks that we got the only people I can say that you say met through dueling was of course Akiza as well as Leo and Luna when you say had that deal with Leo that's when they met so it's interesting to see how Yusaku meets his friends is it going to be like every friend or a good amount of friends he meets through this virtual reality world he duels them and then he becomes their friends or is it in his real life world his world that he goes to during school so it's going to be quite interesting to see Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains will depict him taking a step forward to try. In addition to Yusaku, there's also character's designs for how he looks as his alias, and I'm sorry I butchered that word, playmaker in the VR space, as well as his mysterious form. Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains will be airing on TV Tokyo starting spring 2017. Furthermore, it has been decided a Yu-Gi-Oh! TV special will air prior to broadcast. Okay, that's quite interesting. I imagine what that Yu-Gi-Oh! TV special is going to be about. It's going to be like an ARC-5 finale? Or is it just going to be like those typical ones that they do where they go through all the Yu-Gi-Oh series? I know they did a lot of those during DSOD. You can actually find some of them on Daily Motion, so that's quite interesting. Yu-Gi-Oh! Varanes will be airing in Japan starting Wednesdays in April at 6.25 Japanese Standard Time. So... Yeah, that would be probably early Wednesday or late Tuesday, I would imagine. For anyone that goes to school Monday through Friday, yeah, good luck watching that show. Good luck. Unless you're like an all-nighter. But it's going to be interesting. So I don't know how long the subs usually take for Arc 5 to come out. Hopefully we get a simulcast. That's what they're doing for Dragon Ball Super. And it's working out really well. The simulcast appears an hour after Dragon Ball Super does during the live streams or during its airing in Japan. So let's let's hope, and I hope that Yu-Gi-Oh! Varanes get the simulcast. I think it deserves a simulcast. It would help out 4K Media as well, I would imagine. Fujiki Yusaku, so this is a normal form. We finally get a full body picture. Oh, I like Yusaku's design, to be quite honest. I like that tie that he's wearing. I think he's a well-designed character. His eyebrows look qu quite strange in this image. Let's see, I don't know. I don't like his shoes, though. His shoes do not match his outfit whatsoever. Like, if his shoes had the same color that his pants do, then he, that would be dope. But I don't know, it's just that weird color. So they need to fix that shit, to be quite honest. <laughs> oh yeah, let's read the bio. Cool-headed and extremely clever. His real skills is in his hacking and cracking abilities as well. He's good at reading people and thinks on his feet. So that's good. This is good that Yusaku is well-rounded. Hopefully he's well-rounded in other things except for dueling. I wish that happened. That would be such a good plot. He's so well-rounded in hacking and his uh, cracking abilities as well as reading people. What that means by reading people is that like, alright, like imagine if someone's going to use you and you're right in front of them and you figure out after they use you. Yusaku is like that person that's going to have one eyebrow raised and be like, there's something up with this dude. I think he's going to use us or I think he's going to betray us. So Yusaku's good at analyzing people when he's right there, when, when, when he meets them in the moment. That's a good trait Yusaku has. Yugi had a little bit of that trait, but it was just how he was too kind. Like, that's very evident in the Bokora chapters of the early manga, the Monster World TRPG chapters, where he was like, something's going on. This isn't the real Bokora, because it was dark Bokora, of course. But he was just kind and, you know, forgot about it. As well as, um, Junochi. Yeah, I'm thinking it was Junochi, because uh, in Battle City, Junochi sort of looked at Moloch and he was like, uh, I don't think something's going on. Something's weird. Oh yeah, because, um, Junochi gets kidnapped. He got kidnapped from the Rare Hunters, and, um, at the time, 
Malik was going by the name Namu. So Jinochi was like, ah, or Joey was like, I don't know what's up. And then, of course, Merrick did something kind. And I think he, like, he used this rod to take over Taya's mind. And that's what fixed the event. But the fact is that a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh characters have had this trait. But hopefully it's better. Hopefully Yusaku reads these people and understands that they're going to betray them or do something dirty to them. And also he thinks on his feet. That's a good trait as well. In the moment he thinks. He's like in a Tim. A Tim thinks on his feet in the moment as well. You can literally look at early chapter and Yu-Gi-Oh during the Hirutani or the Joey when he meets his gang member. How a Tim just murked all those people. Literally. If it was pure on fist fight he would have lost so this is good that he has a little bit traits of a, a tim as well as i'll say yugi so that's good and um cool-headed and extremely clever in terms of being cool-headed and extremely clever i think uh yusei was cool-headed and extremely clever i forget i haven't watched 5ds in a while but i do remember yusei being extremely clever i have a theory about this life form and i'm going to be doing it with dimsy's domain so you can check his channel out we're going to be posting it very soon so just stay tuned for that i'm going to be doing a theory or just a discussion regarding what life form could be and I think I have a good answer towards what it could be, but of course it's not going to be 100% confirmed until the episode does air in April or during more V-Jumps and Weekly Jumps. Oh yeah, also Wednesday. When it airs on Wednesday, Duel Monsters in 5Ds. That's what they used to air on Wednesdays. So they're going back to their old traditional routes. I want to see how well his hacking abilities are utilized in the series. Is he going to be that hacker in school or is he going to be that hacker that the mysterious life form needs? But let's move on to something else. And that's his other form. We finally got a name for it and it's called the Playmaker. When Yusaku enters VR space, he becomes a count name playmaker, radically transforming his appearance. What does that mean, a count name? Is it like a game of some sort? Ew, that's that's quite interesting. What if that whole VR thing is a game? It's gonna be like that Dragon Ball Heroes, um, the first Dragon Ball Heroes uh, trailer that they came out where he entered the game and I'm just like, what the hell? Is this like legit a spin-off series for Dragon Ball because I was young at the time and I didn't know, but this is quite interesting. As for talking about his um playmaker form, I'm not a huge fan of the hair. I'm not a huge fan of the outfit. But the fact is that if he's a good character, that's all going to get dismissed. I don't care about his design. If he's a well character, then I'm going to be more fond of his personality and his character traits rather than his character appearance. Oh yeah, the mysterious life form. This thing, I think this thing's going to be very vital. Like, we can already tell. Now, is it going to be like his, uh, his Tim, his Astral? Nah, I don't think so. Hopefully this isn't. Personally, what I think is that I think it's going to be some sort of guidance. And I'll talk about it in my discussion that I'm going to do with Dimsy's and Main. But this is the news, everyone. Shouts out to Yoga Organization for posting these translations. You can check out the article down in the description if you want to. It'll link you straight to this Yoga Organization post. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Brain news.